Right, so I think the first job is using all of these bits. Got a bit of pipe up there as well, some strike pipe. I think the first job is to make a collector to be able to bolt onto the turbo. And then I can make up a basic jig on the, using the flange. And I can then figure out where all of these uh, pipes are going to locate. Right, so I've got some bits of uh, tubing cut down, ready to make this collector. Uh, now what I need to do is cut these at an angle, um, and cut all four of the same, to obviously fit it onto the collector V-band. Um, what I'm going to do to try and make it easier and make it a little bit more uniform is I've got this uh, scrap bit of box section. I'm probably going to cut this open to give myself uh, two sort of uh, right angle pieces and use it to make a jig to hold these uh, pipes in so that I can cut them all the same. Let's give that a go. Right, that's a quick jib, jig that I've knocked out. Uh, just a couple of bits of box action. One just to cut down with a little tab on there. And the idea is I can get me pipe, sit it in, clamp it there. Now hold it in place. To hold that nice and steady. Then this. So warm my gloves because it's uh, still warm. Just welded it. I'll be able to place in the chop saw. Adjust this to whatever angle it is that I need, and I should be able to chop the pipe um, mainly in repeatable angles. So that's the idea. Let's give it a go. Okay, so first uh, jig didn't work. The problem was when you tried to put the locking plate in uh, on it, it would push the whole jig too far outwards. So then when you put the pipe in, it would be cutting it too deep into the pipe. So now what I've done is just welded on a bit of uh, angle onto the jig. That will just bolt down on the original positions um, of the of the angle sort of plate that was on there before the fence and then yeah so now it's in fixed position so I can put it in put the pipe in clamp it here and obviously chop it off the angle I need so with that done hopefully I can start cutting some pipes Right, so got a bit of pipe set up in the jig there. In the chop saw, let's uh, give it a go and see how well the jig works. Right. Firing the uh, chopped off bit off like a rocket. Just a bit of cleaning up to do. That's how it's cut. And that uh, brings an end to today's little session. So I have to get a new part ordered and uh, carry on with something else in the meantime. Right, so after getting the uh, chop saw blade and uh, I had to adjust the jig a little bit just to get it to fit a bit better. I got them all cut out. They're not perfect, but they get me get me in the ballpark. Um, the idea is obviously I can connect them together like that. You can uh, probably see in there. It's not far off, just a little bit of uh, tweaking. I can get them welded together or attacked together for the time being. Uh, so I can start making the manifold. Right, okay. So uh, I'm going to call that a failed attempt. 
these are uh, what remain of the pipes I was making the uh, collector with. Uh, as you can see, the depth, the cut of the each uh, each cut is all different to each other, which means when lining it all up, it just is a real pain to line up. I've been at it with a Dremel. You can probably see right there, just trying to open it out and make it even. A lot of uh, extra time and hard work and uh, wasn't really getting anywhere. So I'm gonna count that as a fail. I did uh, just try and use the pieces as a bit of practice for uh, stainless. It's not actually, not actually welded uh, stainless before, so I thought I'd leave some no scraps. So uh, I'll just use them as test pieces. Um, so yeah, just slapping a bit of weld on there. So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna buy a proper metal cutting blade instead of the abrasive disc I had before. And I'm going to probably put it in the miter saw rather than in the chop saw. Um, adapt the jig to make it all work and uh, cut some new pipes. This is the uh, second jig set up. A lot more sturdy saw, better blade. And uh, right, let's chop some more up. There we go, much better. Four uh, pipes cut for the collector. You see the, the depth of the cut is much more even now across all four tubes, um, cut both ways. So now I'm gonna get them tacked together and uh, see what it looks like. Right, so I got this uh, tacked together. I was really happy with how it fits. Nice, uh, nice joints down, down the side there. Very small gaps. There's a bit of a opening in the middle, but it, it's not a lot. I imagine that will probably just weld up, no problem at all. Then a problem, and that problem is I. the wrong size pipe. Um, I didn't check it up against this other pipe when I got it. I just uh, I just measured the pipe inside there. It was like 1.4 inches. It's listed as 1.5. Assumed that is about right because I know the um, pipe tube sizing is a little bit uh, not accurate, shall we say. And uh, yeah, didn't realise it wasn't actually the same size of the pipe that I have for the rest of the manifold. So that, as happy as I was with it, is a fail. <laughs> oh well, it gave me good practice. I know the jig, I know the jig works out quite well. I know the the blade cuts it pretty well. Um, certainly a lot better outcome than what those gave me. Uh, so yeah, so I'll probably just use this as more practice welding, I guess. And um, I'll have to uh, get some more pipe and have attempt number three. Cheers, Em. Um.